Um, so coming up next, we, uh, we are going to hear again from, um, from Don Rippert at IBM, who uh, is also bringing a guest. But before that, we have a video from IBM. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Don Rippert. Good morning. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about the commitment to interoperability, and it's certainly more than, than IBM's commitment. To me, when I talk to our customers that are looking at OpenStack or are using OpenStack, or are really using any major open source project, they want three things that they think distinguish the open source approach from the proprietary approach. They see additional innovation based on the community and the number of members of the community looking at the problem from different directions. They expect better integration. Since we each know what the code does, we can handle the code itself. And they expect interoperability. They expect that if three vendors, five vendors, 16 vendors, all are offering an OpenStack platform, that their workloads will run across those platforms. Those are the promises I think we as the vendor community are making to the customer. The, the innovation promise is pretty well kept, and it's pretty well understood. I don't think many people would doubt that OpenStack is innovative, that open source is innovative, that the community creates things faster than would be the case in just one company building a product. I think the integration promise is well understood. People see communities working together, vendors working together to get project A integrated with project B where, where necessary. The one doubting area that I've heard from customers from some industry analysts is interoperability. Will the vendors allow interoperability, or is it in their best interests to make anyone on their distribution stay on their distribution? And I've said over and over again, no, not really. It, it is really not in, our, in the vendor's best interests, because the way that we gather momentum around cloud in general, and OpenStack in particular, is by being interoperable. Yeah, we're going to compete. All 16 of those companies up there compete with each other, and we'll continue to compete with each other. But you know, a rising tide gives us more surface area to compete in. We have our reasons at IBM to think we can win more than we're going to lose. I'm sure everybody up on that stage felt the same way. But the interoperability gives us a better platform from which to compete. You hear it all the time when you read the reviews, the industry analysts' opinions. And these are opinions that often inform customers, especially at the executive level. So in April, I said, I'm going to offer a challenge that we will work with anyone who cares to work with us within the community and with the community 
to prove that different vendors have interoperable OpenStack distributions, OpenStack platforms. And at the time when I uh, left the meeting in Austin, I thought we might get four, five, six vendors to do this, not because the interoperability doesn't exist, but because everybody's busy. And here's yet another thing being put on people's plates. Well, you saw what I just saw. We saw 16 different vendors demonstrate interoperability around OpenStack. And in, in what I think must be a Guinness Book of World Records event, all 16 of the demos simultaneously worked. So I'm, uh, I'm very proud of uh, what was done by those, by those vendors. And, and what I'd ask for those of you in the community and for those of you in the audience is that we, we don't back down. Now, up till today, it may have been fair for people to say, I don't think the vendors of the different, of the different OpenStack vendors will create interoperability. After today, I'm going to challenge anybody that says that, because I don't believe it can, be any, any, it can be any longer said after watching what we just watched. IBM and my other fellow vendors are committed to interoperability. We've demonstrated interoperability. We will continue to demonstrate interoperability. IBM will continue to work hard to ensure interoperability between ourselves and others, between others and others, because interoperability is in all of our own best interests. So I hope you'll join me with that. And I'd like to uh, ask for a round of applause for all the people, men and women, who work so hard to make that work. I'd like to call up the stage now the executive vice president uh, of Materna, one of IBM's uh, premier partners, uh, Uwe Skariol. Good to see you, Uwe. Thank you, Don, for the introduction. Good morning to everybody. It's a pleasure for me to be here to talk a little bit about uh, OpenStack at Materna. So Materna is a system integration and consulting company founded in 1980 and uh, headquartered in Germany. Um, we have uh, 1,700 people and a turnover of uh, more than 200 million euro. Um, Materna enables a broad range of, uh, of services uh, for our customers. Um, you probably know us from different airports around the world because we deliver self-service check-in systems and self-service backdrop systems. But we also develop large applications, for example, for the German Customs Authority, and we also deliver um, um, uh, infrastructure automation solutions and uh, um, service management solutions for many large customers in, uh, in Germany and Europe. Materna acts completely vendor independent, but we have uh, partnerships with all uh, players at the market, the IBM partnership, we are IBM Premier Business Partner uh, since 2006. Uh, our challenges we have in our projects are versatile depending on the customer situation we have. Uh, for some customers, we act as a service provider. Uh, therefore, we host, deploy, and manage full business applications for these customers. For other customers, we act as a software developer so we have to maintain test and development systems. Uh, our teams work in many different uh, projects with complex customer requirements, meaning different versions and even different technologies uh, have to be supported um, simultaneously. Um, but we also act as a consultant and advisor in many customer situations. We advise our customers on strategic IT decisions um, so our consultants have to be experts in how to transform existing IT into a modern and agile architecture. Uh, the central question for all these challenges is how to manage the customer situations and environments efficiently and, more in a, in, in, efficiently and in a more agile manner. The typical drivers you can see here apply for us as well for all uh, other players in the market. First of all, scalability. In our managed service projects, we have to fulfill the scalability requirements of the customers 
um, we, for we host the applications. In our development projects, we need highly scalable, scalable environments, for example, uh, for doing uh, load tests. Second, speed. Our development scenarios move more and more from standard waterfall uh, to more agile methods. Our customers increasingly have narrow schedules in going to market with new functionality. Therefore, we have to follow the DevOps spirit to transform us and our customers into an agile world of continuous integration and continuous delivery. Third is cost. Licensing, for example, is a major part in today's IT solutions. Uh, standard platforms, middleware, and uh, applications offerings often impose licensing schemes that cost a fortune when you want to scale fast and dynamically. So licensing for the peak of the needed performance is simply not an option if you take current IT budgets into account. Last but not least, the interoperability. The key benefit of OpenStack is infrastructure provisioning in a hybrid world of own infrastructure and infrastructure coming out of the cloud, coming from our OpenStack cloud provider. OpenStack allows us to use the same APIs and the same functionality everywhere. Therefore, it makes no difference whether a virtual machine is provisioned in your own data center or in any OpenStack cloud environment. This leads us to the architecture we have chosen for our OpenStack implementation. We always have, we always operate several customer projects and manage uh, service scenarios at the same time. Customer projects typically, typically need development, test, and production environments. Managed service often need highly flexible production environments. We provide a unique OpenStack service portal for infrastructure provisioning in all these environments. The portal controls a so-called OpenStack automation and orchestration layer, which is specifically designed for unique access to OpenStack APIs of our own data center and of IBM Blue Box. Because of the interoperability of OpenStack, we can easily expand this architecture using other cloud-based OpenStack uh, offerings if this is required in customer situations. And by introducing OpenStack, we could save a lot of VMware license costs we had before in our internal data center. Coming to the key point, our OpenStack architecture on the basis of IBM Blue Box allows us to deliver what we call managed OpenStack out of the cloud, which is the full Blue Box functionality of IBM added with monitoring and IT service management um, uh, services by Materna. This guarantees the required SLA by the customer. So we, we have the difference between the SLAs offered by IBM Blue Box and the SLAs uh, required by the customer. We close this gap. And I'm proud, only a few weeks after the start of our Blue Box initiative, we can announce that the first well-known customer in Germany's automotive segment has decided to run several applications for their sales organization on the basis of this concept. I'm sure that this is the start of a very successful story. Thank you very much.